come over here because we're going to answer some questions with Phil about foundation training. Some of the questions from the week. We got two of them. One was how to golf correctly, so to save your back. And number two was when you're doing foundation training or the decompression stance, and you're trying to do that all day, should you feel tension? Yes, you should feel tension when you're doing the decompression stance, but you shouldn't feel it all day. So I'm going to describe what I think is going on there if you're feeling tension all the time. Because the decompression stance, the whole idea is to, to lengthen the spine, engaging and lifting it. Just like we're lifting up against these suspenders. The chest comes high. So I'm kind of anchoring here. So when I'm tightening, I'm lifting. Now I don't feel so much tension in there. But when we're doing foundation training, we're exaggerating that. We're adding even more. So you're actually going to feel some tension here in these muscles. And there's two really things you're fighting against. It's not only these joint restrictions in the spine, but you're also feeling these dominant paraspinal muscles, QL, other stuff like that that's pulling us back like this. And that's where you're gonna feel stretching. I just took a long drive to Oklahoma and I had some of that tension. So when I was sitting in church, I just, even when you're sitting, you can do the decompression stance. You can hip hinge. And I felt a lot of tension there when I was doing that. But eventually that will release. You're gonna loosen these muscles up by activating the weaker muscles of the spine using those. So that should release. If you're feeling tension all the day, sometimes you're actually, it's pinching. You're actually doing this. And that's not going to go away because you're making it worse. See how this part comes up? When I tighten, I anchor. So my chest comes up, but that stays down. So we're actually lengthening and expanding the rib cage. Now that tension should eventually go away. It should loosen up over time. And foundation training is really great for that. It's going to help pull everything apart, stretch those rigid tight tissues. Sometimes if a vertebrae is really out of place, come in, see us, we'll get that back in, and that'll help you activate the decompression stance a little bit better. Let's answer the golf question now. Now, I'm not a great golfer, so don't make fun of me, but what you want is a hip hinging stance. What I see a lot of times is people tuck, try to get down lower, and then when you swing, it's all from your lower back, and you're actually twisting these joints. So I usually have so many golf, so I feel a lot of inflammation here, usually on the one side, depending, because you're doing a one-sided activity too, you're always going, you know, right to left, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed. So what you can do is actually have more motion from the hip joints. Kind of pull those into the socket, and you see I get some natural curve there when I do that, just like you're doing the decompression stance. And then you're hinging down, you're not bending from the spine. You're actually using your hip joints more to lower yourself down to the ball. And then when you swing, it's actually you can feel that all in your hip joints more. You might even feel like you're more restricted, like you just can't get enough motion. But over time it'll loosen up, so you're just swiveling from the hip joints, and you're not creating a lot of torsion and twisting from the low back, okay? Save your back, it's really important. Another good thing to do is another exercise to counter that constant one motion. You're hitting the ball a few times, but you're doing 18 holes, that's a lot of one-way swinging. So a little exercise you can do, if you're right-handed, and you're swinging right to left, you wanna get your right leg forward, like this, tighten, and do this foundation training exercise. You're pushing up off the back toe, raising, and then you're turning that left hip in like that. So you're actually turning the opposite direction now than you will be if you're golfing. And then just like you're swinging, you bring that up overhead. A little tight in this shirt. Well, that's the goal there. And you'll feel that a lot. You're getting a great stretch here, but also a lot of activation in your thigh. You're really forcing the hips to be in place. Once you train those hips to operate as they should, it's gonna save your back with anything you're doing, even walking can break you down. If your hips are always turned out, your pelvis is forward, that's going to direct trauma, micro trauma to the spine over time. And that's going to lead to degeneration because even super athletes will get the same degenerative breakdown as people who sit in their couch all day because neither of them have learned to move correctly, have learned to use the hip hinge for everyday motions. So you can be big and strong and have a six pack abs, but still degeneration in the spine. So this is important for everyone to learn. Learn how to hip pinch so you can be as happy and upright as Phil here in his